This is your Extreme Weather Outlook on this Friday, December 18th. I'm meteorologist Daniel Kaiser. We're watching heavy rain in the Pacific Northwest this weekend. Meanwhile, they're still digging out from that nor'easter up in the Northeast. We're going to see much cooler air work in just in time for the Christmas holiday across portions of the upper Midwest. But looking at the Northwest, we do actually have some wind concerns as well across portions of Montana and Wyoming this weekend. Wind gusts potentially up to 70 miles per hour. Meanwhile, in the Pacific Northwest, we do have flood watches in place with the potential especially in the mountains, of three to five inches of rain through the weekend. Snowfall levels rising to 6,500 feet. As we look at precipitation through Sunday, could see between about a half an inch and an inch of rain. Seattle and Portland, higher amounts in the mountains once again. And we could see some heavier snow at higher elevations as well. A little closer into Seattle, you can see, especially as you head out into the mountains, some heavier precipitation values, some of that in the form of heavy snow. Speaking of heavy snow, Look at Binghamton, New York, still digging out from that nor'easter that hit Wednesday into Thursday. Thursday alone, they saw 26.4 inches of snow, the second snowiest day in history. And when you add the Wednesday and Thursday Binghamton snow totals, they saw 40 inches of snow over the two days. We saw other snow records across the Northeast on your Thursday, including 24.2 inches of snow in Concord, New Hampshire, 12.7 inches of snow in Boston. Now again, these are just Thursday totals. This doesn't include what fell Wednesday across the region. Once you look at some of those top snowfall totals from the two days, yes, 43 to 44 inches of snow fell in some locations. Meanwhile, we could see a little light snow across the northeast as we head into the weekend, especially the second half of the weekend, maybe an inch or two in some locations, not nearly as heavy as what we saw the past few days. Meanwhile, some pretty chilly air will work into the upper Midwest just in time for Christmas. Here's a look at highs on Christmas Eve Thursday.